there's a, a concept in nutrition called uh, the acid-base balance. Basically, it means that you should eat uh, foods that promote a more alkaline milieu. So basically avoiding or, or decreasing the amount of foods that increase acidity and increasing the amount of foods that create a more alkaline milieu. For example, uh, protein grains uh, will increase acidity. Green veggies, some fruits uh, and, and other uh, uh, almonds, for example, will, will make you more alkaline. Now, the, the, the reasoning behind that is when your body is acidic, uh, then every process in your body is less efficient. There's also this theory that uh, cancer cannot grow in an acidic, in an alkaline milieu. So if you decrease acidity, then you become healthier and every process is better. Now, the other side of the argument, they will argue that this is hogwash because even when you eat acid forming foods, if you have a, a urine pH test, it will still test pretty much neutral. Uh, so there seems to be no uh, relevance to what you eat as far as what's your body's acidity. Well, first of all, the, the urine acidity is not the same as your body's acidity. But, but more importantly, uh, I think to me, the fact that your body's acidity stays the same regardless of what you eat is actually a pretty good equation. Uh, it's a pretty good indication that you actually need to eat food that are alkaline. Here's why. If I'm eating acid forming food, because we know that some food are acid forming and it doesn't impact your, your pH, to me it tells me that your body has to do something to keep your acidity stable, your pH stable. And that is that thing that the body's doing that I want to avoid. Because let's look at what the body will do to keep you, your pH stable. Uh, it, it can use uh, several things you already have in your body to rebalance yourself. Uh, the first thing will be calcium and phosphorus. Calcium and phosphorus are obviously from bones. So a, 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 an acidic diet can actually lead to the breakdown of bone to release calcium and phosphorus. Of course, especially if you're a woman, it could lead eventually to osteoporosis, weakening the bones. So that's the first thing that can happen. Uh, the second thing that the body can use to reestablish a, a more uh, neutral balance is glutamine. So the body can actually break down muscle tissue to release glutamine to rebalance its pH. Of course, if you're breaking down your body, your muscles, to, to, to stabilize your pH, then it's gonna be much harder to build muscle tissue. So I don't want that. And the third substance that the body can use is bicarbonate. So uh, the body will have the kidneys and pancreas release bicarbonate to stabilize your blood pH. And personally, from having kidney issues, from eating crap and having uncontrolled blood pressure for, for years, I know that for me, I don't want my kidneys to be overloaded like that. That's why I take sodium bicarbonate twice a day to keep my body uh, alkaline. So really, the problem is not just that your body can be acidic because the body can control its own pH. It's rather the strategies your body is using to bring your acidity to a neutral balance. That is what I want to avoid because these things will make it harder to stay healthy, build muscle, and get leaner.